All right, fuck it out. Now we're back. All right, so in today's lecture, we're gonna be helping you build muscle at home. And this is a problem that I've been thinking about for a long time, and this lecture took me several hours to make. I was literally, I literally woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, and I got straight on my PC literally doing this, because prior to this, it was bedtime, and I was like chilling in my bed, just tossing around, you know, just fucking ready to go to bed. And I just had it in my mind, like, man, I need to make this lecture because there's millions of men out there that have trouble just building muscle at home. I used to be in that position, so I understand what you mean. Your dad just doesn't let you go to the gym. Oh, you're fucking 16, bro. Like, you can't go to the gym. You're gonna hurt yourself and shit. Like, that's bullshit, by the way. But yeah, this is catered towards those kids in my shoes in the past. And the goal here is to build muscle at home with minimal equipment. And the reason why is because, of course, mentioned here, many people do not have access to the gym. But before that, let me tell you a story. So before this, I used to be, when I started off my fitness journey, I used to be working out at home. You know those pink dumbbells that your mom would get at home? I was using those, right? <laughs> literally using that, trying to get swole, trying to get big. And yeah, you can literally see my physique. This was my physique before I literally went to the gym. You know, it looks very fucking great. You know, I was looking at steady. You can see some six packs there, some veins on my chest. Actually, I just realized I was fucking shredded, bro. You can see some veins over here. Veins on my arms, veins on my bicep. I was fucking huge. I mean, not huge, but athletic. And you can see over here, bro, come on. This is a fucking flex to the fitness community. Everyone's talking about, oh, fucking, uh, what's that? Fucking Christmas tree, bro. I had a fucking Christmas tree, bro. This is a fucking Christmas tree. And look at my fucking forearms. Look at the veins. I look like fucking Wolverine, bro. But yeah, this is just to prove that this shit is legit. If you follow this entire protocol, by the end of it, you will have exactly everything you need to know to build your dream physique at home. Not your dream physique, but an athletic physique, right? You need to go to the gym at some point, bro. Come on. Don't let those guys tell you, like, ah, colors, you can do color things forever, bro. Really? You all look big, don't you? So, that's for another time though. Let's talk about the program. So this entire program is going to be a six-day push-pull legs. And how this will work is every single day, you're going to perform a push-pull legs. Every single day, you're going to choose one push exercise, one pull exercise, and one leg exercise. So what this means is, push is just any exercise that requires you to push. Pull, any that requires you to pull. Legs, you know, squats, all that bullshit. So here's an example. Day one, you'll basically just do push-ups pull-ups, legs, and day two, you know, just mix it up. As I mentioned here, mix it up. Do some dips, rows, lunges, day three, push-ups, chin-ups, and calf races. I'll talk about how to progress later on in the program, but before that, let me give you a list of all the exercises because I'm such a nice guy and I'm delivering this value in advance to gain your trust. As always, it's free, enjoy. Quoted by one man. So here are the recommended push-pull legs exercises. So for push, you just basically choose from this list and I'll explain later, don't fucking check the thing. Push, you'll basically choose any of these push exercises. Pull, choose any of these. Legs, choose any of these. Pick one of these every single day. One push, one pull, one leg. Do it every single day, seven days a week. Don't fucking take a day off. And this is the entire program, honestly. And the reason why I chose all of these exercises is because it's compound, it's fundamental, and it's applicable to all levels. It doesn't matter if right now you have COVID and you're at home, you know, you're... Oh shit, I don't think you can stay on YouTube. I might get demonetized, but who gives a shit? Okay, anyways... It doesn't matter who the fuck you are. Some guy that's at home right now, you can't leave the room for whatever reason, you know, that's like a, what's that, a winter storm? Like winter storm or whatever. You're, you're an advanced person, you're a beginner, it doesn't matter. All these exercises will apply to you because they're fundamentals, they're just timeless. And you basically want to avoid anything related to street calisthenics, you know, back levers, plunge, you know, l sit, human flag, like bro, you're here trying to build an aesthetic V taper, an aesthetic physique, you're not here trying to fucking street perform for the ladies, you know. That's for another time. But remember, you're going to be doing this every single day. So you know, don't fucking do this, bro. You're gonna literally explode your fucking joints. You're gonna explode your elbows. Don't fucking do this. Stick to the basics, you know? Don't let anyone else tell you like, oh, do this 360 push-up. First of all, what the fuck's a 360 push-up? It's literally not been invented like 500 years ago. If it's not invented 500 years ago, don't fucking do it. Because it's like, it's like the food, you know, a lot better. But that's, that's what I'm doing. Let it fucking hide. And I have a playlist in the description below right now where you can perform them and also include pro progressions. So progressions basically mean, for example, you're doing push-ups, and it's too easy, that's basically like archer push-ups or 100 push-ups, they're all like progressions, right? And they'll be all in the description below. You can go check them out. I've been such a nice guy, right? So let's talk about the programming, right? How this is going to work. So you basically already found out what you're going to do every single day. Okay, so today I'm going to do push-ups, I'm going to do pull-ups, I'm going to do legs. That's basically the basics, right? You want to be picking a daily repetition target. Basically, this is like your goal every single day. Okay, so today I need to complete 60, okay, I put it on over here, right? 30 reps for push-ups, I'm going to pull-ups. 50 reps for push-ups and 75 reps for squats. And you basically want to write this all down for every single workout on your notes app. And we'll explain why later. And your daily minimum is to basically to be hit. 
at least, right? So for example, if here says 30, you need to at least hit 30. And if you're feeling good, you know, do extra. The goal here is to constantly push yourself. And I recommend to do three sets for each exercise, right? This is just my personal preference. It's up to you though. And how will this work is basically you just, you know, if you have to do 30 reps, you just do three times 10. And this is consistent so you can track it easier to progress it below, right? So we'll talk about it later. And, you know, this is just a few more examples. You don't, you know, on a different day, you don't do pull-ups, like a cool, do an inverted row. You don't do push-up, do dips. You know, you basically get it, man. All right. So let's talk about the laws right now. The absolute laws you need to understand before building muscle. And the first thing to understand is if you want to get bigger, if you want to get fucking swole like me, you can fucking look at me. Look at the camera, bro. This is real work right now. I fucking build this physique. If you want to get fucking huge, I mean, of course I'm not that huge, but check this out. Fucking six pack. I'm not even joking, by the way. So fucking six pack. Your mentor is actually someone that's legit, not a fucking fat doctor or teacher, right? So if you want to get fucking swole, you want to get big, you need to force your muscles to grow. You simply need to force them. You need to fucking hold the gun towards your bicep and say, okay, you need to fucking grow. But I'll explain how that works. So first let's talk about progressive overload, right? This is very simple. And I'll just give a cat example. So you fucking go to the gym for the first day and you're lifting the barbell, you know, you're not wearing the fucking pussy gloves. You're actually holding, gripping the bar. It's fucking hard. And your hands are fucking bleeding because your skin is so soft. But eventually, your skin hardens and you know, you can feel the thing over here. Your skin hardens and it adapts to the stress that the bar used to give you. So initially, your, the bar used to fucking scratch your hand, used to be bleeding and shit. But now, you're not bleeding anymore. Your skin has adapted to it. And that's the same with muscle growth. You want to be constantly giving it a reason to grow. Constantly push it. Force it to fucking tear so it can continuously build itself like the callus on your hand. So that's the absolute loss when it comes to muscle building. If you do not force your muscles to grow, if you fucking be a pussy, if you fucking just do it and you stop when you feel tired, you're not gonna get big. You're not gonna fucking get these fucking huge ass arms. You fucking see this, bro? Fucking huge ass arms. Fucking six pack and shit. I'm a legit, I'm a legit coach, bro. Okay. No, for this program, you can't use strong because your workout variations are fucking different, bro. Unless you're doing a gym routine, which I'll, you know, I'll talk about in another video. But for this program, since you're really alternating, you know, you're pushing and you're using different exercises. Today, you might feel like doing push up, tomorrow, you might feel like doing dips, you know, you, or you might want to do pull up. That's why you can't use the strong app because strong app, that's like, at least for the free trial, I'd really recommend just, just fucking write in the note app, bro. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You can't you just fucking pull up your phone, type in the thing, like, bro, I use, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Man, kids these days, man. Anyways. Okay, so this is the fucking progression on the entire program, right? This is where the notes that comes in. You basically want to add 5 to 10 reps to each movement every 2 to 4 weeks until you hit your volume goal. And your volume goal is basically this. Uh, right, yeah. Over here, your volume goal. What you basically set yourself every single day. And let me just explain it in a very simple terms. So for example, my volume goal for pull-ups is 30 reps, right? So I'm going to do 30 reps. I'm going to keep doing it for a couple weeks until I feel... Like it's not challenging, as I mentioned over here, it's not challenging. You hit your daily minimum, meaning you're doing 30 pull-ups every single day. It's not as challenging and your form is clean. And you know what I mean when your form is clean. You will notice yourself if you're fucking doing it sloppily or not. You're fucking just keeping your legs, doing a shit form just because you can get your head above the bar. Or those kids that are in PE class, bro, you fucking notice. Those kids that the teacher asks them to do, oh, do the fucking push-ups. And you're actually doing clean, you're actually pumping that up clean. And that other kid beside you, literally beside you, is fucking humping the floor. Like you don't want to be that guy. Master your movements. And of course... Refer to your notes app, right? So you basically see your daily volume as 30 reps. Refer to that. Okay, last week, oh no, two weeks ago, I did 30 reps and now it's feeling easy. Let's add 35 or let's add 40, right? And an alternative is to actually add weight. So, you know, since you're a fucking schoolboy, <laughs> get your fucking bag, put those fucking history books, you know, how to win friends and influence people in your fucking bag. Intelligent investor, because that book is actually huge, actually. Fucking put it in your bag, fucking put some bottles. Put on the weight and just fucking do your pull-ups or your push-ups. It's literally free. There's no fucking excuses. Literally, literally no fucking excuses. You can literally just get your bag, which is in the corner of your room. I literally have it right there. And just do it. Just fucking do it. That's how you progress. So these are the prog progressive overload tools, right? So this is just for advanced users, but just take a screenshot right now so you can use this to play around once you've actually gotten bored of this progression. But these are just some stuff you can do to really increase the intensity and challenge your muscles even further. So the first thing is to shorten your rest time. It's pretty self-explanatory. For example, if you're doing three sets of fifty pull-ups and you're resting 120 seconds for the first week next week if you're feeling like okay this feels kind of easy just slow this time fucking easy next is to increase the time of attention so for example right now you're doing push-ups and it's like two seconds down and one seconds up next week just increase the time three seconds down two seconds up fucking easy and you don't have to be so accurate you don't have to fucking meticulously have like a fucking timer app. oh i need to make sure it's two seconds guys like counting your fucking head bro it's it's not that big of a deal and of course you know when you're bullshitting yourself like oh one two like no it's like one, 
two, one, two, three. Not one, two, three. What is like, bro? You know what I fucking mean. The next thing you can do is to increase the range of motion. So for a push up, the lowest point you can go is kind of like over here, where the floor is really kind of like touching your chest. And to increase your range of motion, you can kind of like have, as you can see in the picture right now, there's like a bar over there that allows you to go much deeper, and that allows you to stretch your muscles way more to increase the increase the range range of motion, which of course gives you more stimulation. If you get what I mean. And of course, the final one is to perform hard variations. In the video earlier that I've shown how to perform all these exercises, there are harder variations. So if you're doing push-ups and you feel like it's just too easy, just do archer push-ups, do one-hand push-ups. There are many progressions when it comes to calisthenics, so the opportunity there is endless. And keep in mind, this is all for advanced users. Don't fucking do any of these until you master this. Until you've at least, okay, you know what? I'll give you a very concrete, right? Since everyone needs a concrete goal. When you've at least done this for two months, if you haven't done any of these progressions for two months, don't even think about doing this. All right. So let's talk about progressing, actually progressing. And let's say you're taking the rep CD route. You know, this is actually side rep. This is inspired by Brian Ortega, the UFC fighter. His nickname is called TCD, which is like a triangle. But nah, that's fucking irrelevant, bro. Oh my goodness, I don't know what the fuck I was saying. Okay, let's say you choose to go with this. This is basically rep CD, right? You basically add 10, to, uh, 10 and five, or five to 10 reps to each movement every two to four weeks until you get your volume go. Let's say you go with this instead of, you know, the schoolboy, which I'll talk about later. So how this would work is, you know, the daily repetition, 20 reps, 10 reps, 30 reps. And let's say two weeks later, you're feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty great. And of course, keep in mind, keep in mind, this is fucking important that you're following this. That you're actually referring to this. Okay, I managed to hit my daily minimum. It's like 20 reps. Okay, I'm doing great. And it's not as challenging as it was when I first started. When I first started off, it was like fucking tough. Now it's like, yeah, it's kind of easy. And your form is clean. Meaning you're actually, you know, you're looking clean. You're not fucking humping the floor or some shit like that. So with that criteria in place, two weeks later, what you'll do is basically just increase your reps. For example, over here, I put 10 reps, but it's up to you. If you feel like push-ups, yeah, I can definitely push more. Let's add 20. Okay, 20. For pull-ups, I'm kind of weak on pull-ups, so let's just add five. This is just an example, but you basically just want to add more reps, bro. Like I've said over here, I put it over here, five to 10 reps, that's for beginners. But if you feel like you can do more, do more. Don't be fucking lazy. As I've said earlier in the fucking rule, you need to fucking put a gun towards your fucking bicep to force it to grow. And the only way to do that is to simply add more stress to your muscles. Yeah, three weeks later, the same shit. You know, if you feel like, oh, this, the reason why I say three weeks later, because sometimes you can face a plateau. For example, you reach over here, like, fuck, it's still hard. So just wait even longer, it doesn't matter. Do it until you feel like you've met these criteria. Literally, it doesn't matter how long it takes, just do it until you meet these criteria. But of course, this is like a great guideline, which is two to four weeks, but yeah. When you meet these guidelines, then you're ready to progress. And you can basically just add the reps, simple stuff, re rinse and repeat. This is for the rep CD route. For example, if you're choosing to go with this, which is to add reps. For example, you like, you like the pain for whatever reason. What the fuck, who just messaged me in the chat? Oh, okay, never mind. That's, that was an old question. Okay, so let's talk about the schoolboy route. You, you've decided that you do not want to go with 5 to 10 reps. This is fucking boring. Like, this hurts my brain, you know? Like, why the fuck do I have to do more reps? I'm lazy. I just want to add more weight so I can get this over with. This is for you. So how you want to do this for the schoolboy route is to basically start off with the usual repetition range. And the reason why I put BW over here, BW is body weight, for example. You know, you can go Reddit, all that shit. They'll talk about BW, BW is body weight. So you basically start with this. And for example, you know, your fitness level, you're kind of a weak guy. You're a skinny guy, fucking twigs. Okay, cool. It's gonna take you four weeks. So four weeks later, according to this principle, you feel fucking amazing. You feel like, okay, I'm ready to progress now. So what you wanna do, instead of increasing your reps for the rep city one, you basically just add more weight. Put on the backpack and add five books inside of it. Add your fucking influence, your psychology of money, put it all in there. And you basically just wanna do the same shit, rinse and repeat, fucking follow this exact principle. And the reason why I talk, keep talking about this is because it's so fucking important. Most guys don't even fucking follow this. They just wanna add more reps, add more reps. But bro, again, if you make it sloppy and shit, you're not gonna progress. Your muscles is not gonna grow at all. So this is what you're gonna do. Basically just add reps and three weeks later, you're feeling fine. Just fucking add more books. You know, that's the option over here actually. If you wanna add more weight, you can basically just add seven books. Or if you want, you can just add reps. Like I've said over here, you know, 20 reps to 30 reps. You can basically just go of it like a hybrid. It's a principle here, it's not a fucking rule. I'm not here to fucking point a gun towards you. Hey, hey, you must do this, no. Mix it up all together and make it work for you, right? right? You can do a hybrid. You know, sometimes you may be bored putting on the backpack, you want to do more reps. Cool. There's no fucking rule here, bro. I'm not a fucking fake guru telling you to do the principles or any of that shit. But now let's talk about the recommended equipments. So I've actually spent several hours literally, jur not journaling, but fucking researching about this. I was actually searching up what is the best equipment that a broke boy, a fucking... I, I was visualizing you. I was visualizing you in the fucking, in your fucking room. Just like, oh, I'm fucking broke, bro. Like, like 
you're not fucking broke, bro. You can fucking afford a fucking porn up subscription. You can fucking afford this, right? So just buy this, bro. It's fucking fourteen dollars. It's new from where I came from. It's super versatile. It's the highest ROI, and literally, I'm not even kidding. Actionable step: buy this right now. Buy this too, which is called a gymnastic ring or gym rings. You can. This tool can basically allow you to do every exercise that you ever think of. If you wanted, you know, to increase. Wait, let me show you. Increase the range of motion over here to allow a greater muscle stretch for intensity. You can do it here in the gym rings. You can do push-ups, inverted rows. You can do rows. You can do dips. You can do pull-ups. You can do chin-ups. Your creativity is essentially a limit, and this is why this tool is so versatile. And hey, if you like nature like how I do, and you want to get some sunlight, you can literally work out outside, hang out on a tree, fucking do a pull-up. And I'm not trying to sell you, by the way. There's no affiliate link or anything. It's just. I genuinely think it's fucking amazing. And the reason why I said equipment's over here is because there's only one. Uh, I was thinking about it like, oh, there's actually not really much. This is the pretty much the essential, right? And if you're fucking broke, you know, you're a schoolboy, you, you only have $5 because your mom gave you $5 for like lunch money, fucking go to Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, get it for second hand, bro. There's no fucking excuse. And here are the, some of the tools that you may be considering if you're like rich or whatever, like, hmm, I'm trying to get into color studies, should I invest into this? Most of these things, no. You shouldn't invest in it. And let me just explain why. So the first thing is actually a power tower. This is what someone would usually try to invest in when they first get into the gym. Like, oh, this is so fucking useful. I can do a pull-up and a dip. So can these gym rings, bro. Wait, what the fuck is it? So, so can these gym rings. And they cost $14. A power tower is literally fucking expensive, bro. This is literally close to $100. And this is literally the cheapest. The one from fucking AliExpress. The cheapest shit for, for fucking close to $100. We can literally get this for $14 and you can do more exercises. Gym ring does that plus more. The dips bar, this is something that I personally own and man, this, again, is much more superior. Gym ring does that and it's pretty much only good for one exercise and that's dip. This is unfortunately not as good for dips compared to this, but bro, are you seriously just gonna buy this equipment just for dips? Like, just get this, bro. Yeah, the dips is not as enjoyable, but you get used to it. $54 new. And this stick I was talking about, which is actually over here. This guy's using the sticks over here. This is something that many calisthenics YouTubers will actually recommend you, right? And I believe it's only good if you're into like street calisthenics stuff like the plunge, the L-sit, or if you're trying to like do human flag and all that shit. But chances are if you're watching this, you're here for the muscles. And gym ring already has all your needs, so stop fucking coping. And this is literally $33. All of these stuff is literally, is literally more expensive than this fucking rings. And this rings literally beats them all. They are able to do so many more exercises, so you, you'll be a fool if you're not buying it. And of course, let's talk about the final option. This is usually someone's first choice when they're getting to the gym, which is a door frame pull-up bar and... Don't fucking get this bro, even though it's cheap, it's unstable as fuck. You never know when you're pushing your last rep like, oh, let's fucking go and this shit fucking falls on you and you break your bone for whatever reason. And again, gym rings literally does, does it better. So that's to destroy your entire limiting beliefs and let's move on to the next one. So we're pretty much done. We're pretty much done, honestly, we're done. But, testing your attention span. But let's talk about diet. This is a bonus because I want to deliver value in advance. First thing in the description below right now, book a coaching call, you know. Much better over there. Okay, so two things we need to basically understand when it comes to diet and when it comes to building muscle, and that is bulking and cutting. So this is McGregor. You know, he's bulked up to like 170 right now, and this is him at 145 pounds, by the way. You can see a huge difference. This guy is fucking swole as shit, and this guy's like, he looks like, I think there was one guy that said he looks like he came out of the concentration camp or some shit. He looks like, uh, you know, Skeleton Army from Clash Royale. This guy literally looks like that, but whatever. I'm not gonna poke at him, right? So let's talk about bulking. So bulking is basically a process where you're in a calorie surplus. And a calorie surplus is basically when you eat more energy than your body burns. And your body basically have an energy limit every single day. This is basically the energy that's required for it to function, for you to not lose or gain weight. So in order to bulk, you have to eat above that, which is also known as your maintenance calorie. This allows you to gain weight in... I mean, if you gain weight, you automatically gain muscle, unless it's fat. And the truth is, you really need to ask yourself, how do you think you can build muscle without the resources? How do you build muscle if you're not eating anything? If your body isn't getting the fucking... Well, I mean, where do you think muscles come from? They come from food, bro. Where do you think fats come from? They come from food. And let me give you a great analogy, which is the sand castle analogy. Imagine right now, I'm trying to sculpt the largest sand castle ever known to mankind. The largest one. I'm in the beach right now. I'm like, yeah, I'm determined. But there's no fucking sand. How the fuck do you think I'm able to craft that? And that's the same with your physique. How can you fucking craft physique this, you, how do you expect yourself to get fucking huge if you're not even eating and if you're eating like a bitch you're eating one fucking cookie every day how do you how do you expect yourself to grow and you basically want to bulk if you want to gain muscle otherwise you don't bulk but i'll talk about why most likely if you're watching this video you need to fucking bulk i don't give a fuck who the fuck you are most likely if you're watching this video you have to bulk and no oh, you're gonna fucking cry and shit i'll fucking tell you why okay so let's talk about cutting 
it's basically the opposite of bulking. You're basically going to be in a calorie deficit, basically eating below your maintenance. You basically want to eat less calorie than your body needs, and this allows you to lose weight, which the whole process of cutting is to basically just cut off the fat to show your more defined muscles. Compare these two guys. Yeah, this guy is huge, but he doesn't look as shredded, does he? There's no fucking business bowl six packs over here. You can't see the biceps. You know, his jaw looks kind of puffy. You know, he's hiding it with a beard. But look at this guy in contrast. He has some sharp jaw lines. His muscles actually defined. He has some six packs. And that's basically what cutting is. You basically want to bulk up first, build the muscles, cut, cut it down so that you can actually show how tight your fucking muscles are. And yeah, the truth is when you bulk, you will get a little bit fat on the side. You won't completely gain muscle bulk. That's just simply impossible. I don't care what they're saying like, oh, uh, you can do a fucking lean bulk or any of that shit. Like, oh, you, you won't get any fat at all. Bullshit. Literal bullshit. And the goal here is to basically lose fat and look sh shredded. Okay? Yeah. Chances are, if you want to cut, you probably just want a six pack. And I'll tell you why a six pack is not as cool as you think. Because I pretty much have a six pack for like the most of my life and I don't really want a six pack. But I'm grateful, you know? So how do you cut or bulk? So simple. Let me show you. And let's just use Junta as our example right now. I'm gonna do this literally in front of your fucking face, so there's no fucking excuses. Like, oh, it's so hard, guys. I'm doing this with you, bro. So, Junta, how old are you? 18, right? 18, 18 boy. So, what's your height? 180. 180. 90. My ass, not 180. My ass, bro. You're like, what? <laughs> this guy getting exposed. Wait, what, what's 172 lah? I think it's 172, right? I don't know. Or is it 175? 175, okay, you're 175. Let's just an example. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Wait, what are you? 60, okay, you're fucking. 60, okay? He, you know, you walk every single time. So or do you do light? Yeah. Moderate, you think you do moderate or light? I think I do moderate. I exercise every day. Or just walk. Or do foundation. Daily exercise or active? Okay, let's say Junta wants to bulk, right? So let me just look over here. Okay, most right, most likely if you're watching this video, you need to fucking bulk. And I'll explain the exceptions later. So let's say he wants to bulk like just weight gain, you know? Usual weight gain. You want to discover your calorie that you need. Oh, I don't actually know how to calculate my calorie, bro. Do this, press this one button, and you can literally have your entire things for you. Look, okay, now Junta needs to literally eat about 3,000 calories every single day to gain weight. It's that fucking simple. Input your fucking input over here, your information, click the button, and the system does it for you. He literally knows exactly how much protein he needs to eat, how much carbs, how much fats. Like, bro, it's so fucking simple. There's no excuse for you not to, like, oh, I'm too scared to bulk or cut. No fucking excuses. And it's even easier with the MyFitnessPal app. Link in the description below. But this is the app that allows you to track calories in the most easiest way, in case you're wondering, like, oh, how do I check my calories, bro? Do I have to check every single food? I mean, technically, but it's much easier to use. Oh, shit, I think it's a rainbow, but. It's much easier to use this app compared to like tracking it on your fucking phone with a notes app. You know, when Junta was talking about the strong app, that doesn't work with the program, but when you want to track your calories, use my fitness file. How do you use it is in the description below and you just use this to track your calories. It's that fucking simple. So, now I fucking come to this part, bro. I want to fucking destroy you right now. To cut or to bulk. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are. I don't care who the fuck you are. You need to bulk. Cutting is literally for people who have already built the muscles and chances are, if you're watching this, it's not you. The exception is if you're literally as fat as this guy. Come on, chances are if you're watching this, you're not as fat as this guy, bro. You're probably some fucking skinny fat or skinny kid. Let's be real now. If you're, if you're this guy, then bro, I'm so sorry, but you actually need to cut. But, you know, just do the exact steps that I mentioned earlier. Find your calories and, you know, I'm just gonna help you actually. Let's assume you're the same as Junta, but let's say you wanna like cut weight, right? And of course, you don't want extreme weight loss. This will like fuck you up. Just do like a simple weight loss. And yeah, there you go. You can basically see here how much calories you need to eat every single day, right? I helped you. Okay, that's just for those poor guys that have to cut. But most likely, if you're watching this, you have to bulk. And let me explain why. So the chances are, if you're watching this video, you're either two of these physiques. So let's just talk about Mr. Skinny Guy, right? If you're Mr. Skinny Guy watching this, thinking, I need to cut further so I can see my six packs. What is that to cut? Look at this body right now, what is that to cut? What is that to fucking cut? That's literally not, bro, you have fucking, bro, you have nothing on your meat. There's nothing on your bone. What is that to cut? I don't see anything. If you want to truly cut, you need to first build the muscles first, right? Then only you cut off the fat to show, as I mentioned earlier, to, sh to make your physique look more defined. There's literally nothing to cut here, bro. What is that to fucking cut? Have some fucking respect for yourself. There's literally nothing to fucking cut here, bro. Are you trying to look like those fucking skinny fucking arms guy that have like a six pack and that's the only thing they talk about? Bro, you will look like shit in clothes. Come on, bro. Have some fucking respect for yourself. And the second guy, this fucking skinny fat guy. Oh my fucking goodness, bro. These guys. Uh, uh, there's belly fat over here. Okay, what, what do you think happens when you cut? Congrats, you're gonna end up as this guy. 
You're gonna look like shit. This is not your fucking goal, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Both guys are literally idiots. If you think that you need to cut, oh, congrats, congrats. You literally look like the skinny guy. And if you, if the, if the skinny guy thinks that he needs to cut, congrats. Why is that to literally cut? You're literally gonna look like a guy from a night from the fucking what's it called the what's the thing called Manchester for meeting the concentration camp. Yeah, you're gonna look like this guy, fucking skeleton army clash royale. You wanna look like that? You don't wanna look like that, bro. You wanna actually look like this, this athletic physique. This one over here where you can actually show some muscles on your fucking bone. And you do that through bulking. So fucking bulk, bro. And of course, some limiting belief is say, Yeah, this is fucking bullshit, bro. Like all this bullshit. But bro, look at your fucking physique and look at mine. Look at your physique and look at mine. Whose advice are you going to fucking listen to, bro? Huh? I have the six pack that you... Oh, no, no, six pack, six pack. Oh, bro. I fucking have it, bro. And I'm telling you to fucking bulk. So shut the fuck up. Look at you. You're, you're probably looking like this or you're looking like this. So shut the fuck up, bro. Listen to me. Okay. So, now you're humble and you didn't click on this fucking video, most likely you can be safe. Most likely you're actually here interested, you actually want to change your life. We're for you, okay? So this is how you're going to start. You're going to either look like this or you're either going to look like this. And what you're going to be doing is bulking. Basically, follow what I basically talked about just now, you know, do all these fucking exercises, everything. Eat in a calorie surplus. I literally taught you how to do it. Every single thing I fucking gave it to you, bro. You don't need to go search for another YouTube video. I literally did it all for you. Bulk, do your heavy compound lifts and probably six months later, or maybe a year or some shit, you're gonna look something like this. You're gonna look somewhat, they're gonna call you fat, but hey, look at this guy, he has some fucking definition over here. Yeah, sure, you can't see his six pack, but you can actually tell that this guy looks strong. He has some fucking chest over here, his delts is looking great, his arms are actually looking huge, not like this fucking guy. Now, now is only when you cut, and when you cut, you're gonna look like this. You're not gonna look like fucking, you're not gonna look like this. Do you fucking understand, bro? I'm on your fucking side here, bro. Like, these fucking guys, bro, telling you, oh, you need to cut first, cut first. My fucking ass, bro. You don't deserve a cut. You look like this. You need to build muscle first, then you fucking cut. It's kind of like sculpting a sculpture. A sculpture. You first need to put on, like, the mold, and then you will sculpt it, right? It's kind of the same with your body. You need to, first of all, get some meat on your fucking bone, then you sculpt your sculpture. And when you've reached this stage of these two guys, it's basically just a cycle of bulking and cutting. So for, for example, you're at this stage right now and then you just do a cut and okay, yeah, you're looking cool. Girls are, you're actually sleeping with some girls now. Good for you. Uh, you know, you're looking fucking amazing. But now you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I'm not really satisfied with this. I kind of want to get more muscle. Cool. Go back on the ball. And then when you ball for fucking six months again, okay, you're going to look like this. Okay. And then you cut. Oh, now I look even bigger now. It's basically a fucking cycle. So when you get to this stage, you want to fucking understand, bro. Just, it's just a cycle of this. But you first need to get out of this stage, which you can do through getting here. Next thing I want to talk about is cardio. Wow. Everyone's most fucking love subject, right? I hate fucking cardio, bro. But okay, according to research, HITD cardio is the best to burn fat and retain your gains. So most likely if you're cutting, which I mean, I will really recommend everyone to do cardio. I'll talk about it later. But for cutting, you basically want to do HITT because it really retains your muscles really well. So you won't lose your muscles when you're cutting because you know, you're going to be eating less, which may result in some muscles loss, which we will talk about later. And yeah, you basically want to do HITT. It's usually shorter and HITT basically, you can basically just think of sprints. Anything that's like high intensity, you know. I, I was about to say sex is like a HITT workout, but I'm not sure actually. You know, boxing and stuff, I know high HITT type workout. You basically just use this to burn your fat and retain your gains. Steady state cardio is basically like jogging and shit. It's not as effective to burn fat. And if you do too much, you can really impair your muscle growth. So think of like a marathon. Marathon fucking runners. How do you think they look like? Bro, I can fucking go Google it right now. Marathon runners. Look at this. You wanna look like this, bro. You wanna look like that. You wanna look like this guy, bro. Fucking swole over here. You wanna look like this guy, right? So just do HITT. Oh wait, what the fuck? Yeah, just do HITT. You'll be fine. And I mean, yeah, you can do steady state cardio if you're like really, really like, yeah, I wanna do it, like, yeah, do it. But just know that it's not as effective as HITT. And it's usually longer, which lasts for like 40 to 90 minutes. And just do your cardio and really take time to train hard. Because there was this one guy in my school, he was fucking huge and shit, but bro. He easily gassed out, and I don't want you to be that guy. Do your fucking cardio, even though you're bulking, do your cardio, bro. Trust me, you don't want to be that guy that's like fucking massive, looking like the whole, all the girls like, wow, this guy is like the fucking alpha male. And it's like, yeah, and then when you're walking up the stairs, you're like, oh, oh. That's, what, that's what happens when you don't fucking train your heart. Or when you're having like fucking sex or some shit. Like, your cardio is so fucking shit, you gas out like, oh, I'm gonna die. And you fucking just lay on the bed like, bro, what the fuck's wrong with you? Take your time to train your cardio, it helps you in all aspects of your life. It even makes you a healthier guy. So here's what my recommendation would be. If you're bulking, do two 25 minutes HRTD sessions when you're cutting. Do three to five, you know, up to you, depending on how severe you want to cut. Means if you want to cut like really fast, then do five times. If you if you, you if you want to just stay chill, just do three 25 minutes HRTD sessions. If you're maintaining, which you're probably not, you want if you're watching this video, you want to get huge. Do three 
do three 25 minutes HFT sessions. And that's basically it. You now, bro, this whole fucking lecture is so long, bro. And I've took so many hours of my time to just do this. Now, you literally have all the knowledge that I've fucking gave you. I fucking thought about this for fucking hours. Like, if that was a guy in his fucking basement right now that wants to get huge, this is literally all the information that you need. You don't need to fucking Google anymore stuff unless you want to look for forms and stuff, which, again, in the description below, you don't have to search anything. You literally have all the information that you have to literally build muscle at home to achieve, hopefully, a physique like this. Now, you simply just have to take action. Simply take your notes and actually tomorrow, go fucking start already, bro. Your actionable step right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to hold you accountable, actually. It's literally just create your own program like this. Uh, pick a push pull link for tomorrow and set a daily target minimum or some shit and start taking action. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's lecture. Holy shit, man. Fucking out, fucking tired. But let me know in the comment section if I missed anything and I might do a part two. So again, quick CTA. If you're interested, first thing in the description below. Right now, you get a book a one on one coach, no two on one coaching call. Me and Judah, we will personally coach you with anything that you need help with, personalized help. And the biggest thing that we want to be plugging is actually our Discord server, where you can actually be a part of the lecture. So you can actually, you may be able to see your face over here, bro. You may be able to type in the chat, ask some questions, and I'll be answering them live. So, yeah, I'll see you soon, bro. And I hope you enjoy this lecture. See you soon.